Well, hello there, guys, and welcome back to part one of Greedfall. My name is ESO, and I'm really excited to share this new roleplay game with you because I think it's kind of gone under the radar to most people. So in this video, I will be starting a new game and showing you guys what Greedfall is all about. And we're going to get right into the storyline with a very long prologue and a lot of cutscenes and information that the game's going to throw at us. So let's get started. And guys, if you haven't already, press that notification button and then YouTube will actually let you know every time I upload another episode or a new guide to do with Greedful. If you guys didn't know, this channel is pretty much exclusively based on roleplay games. Could you stand a little taller, just a tad? Like this? Yes, yes. The chin a tiny bit lower. Gaze a little more to the right. There! Now, hold the pose! Okay, so this is the character customization. You can, of course, play as a female, but clearly I need to play as a male. Oh my god, look at those chops, though. God damn, son. We need to go for the full beard, obviously. The biggest beard is the biggest victory. I don't want them to be too tragic. Oh my god, that is bright. Jesus, we are playing on maximum graphics on PC, by the way. Before you guys ask, I kind of have like a ginger beard. Gingery blonde like that. If I can, I do like white hair. I can't wait until I get old and my hair goes white. Is that weird? Eye colour, I have green eyes. There we go. That kind of looks like me. What, what do you reckon, guys? I think my beard is more epic, but there we go. Next step. Our skills. Okay, let me explain this because this is the skill tree in the game. You can be a warrior, technical, or magic starting class. You can literally be any class in the game. The game doesn't really have a class system. It literally has a skill tree and you can choose what skills you want to spec into. It doesn't matter what you start with, it's just the starting skills the game gives you. So don't feel like you're tied onto something even though you choose a warrior and then you're like, actually I really like the magic skill line. So really don't worry about this. Personally, I'm gonna be puring a mage with a little bit of close combat. So we're gonna go for a magic skill line because the animations and abilities in the mage skill line are insanely fun. Let's go with a mage. And then our starting attribute. So obviously, if you guys look, it has the recommended attributes you might want to get. So for a mage, mental power and willpower gives you more mana. Uh, agility, you can read through them and kind of figure out what fits your character the best. They are quite obvious, to be honest. Starting off, I'm just going to increase the power of my spells. Mental power level 1. As you can see, it goes up in power as you continue. Next, we have our talents, which are basically going to help us explore the world and talk to people. A few things I'd like to note about this, though. Charisma, obviously useful for talking to people. You can play kind of like a diplomat character, but also it increases your allies combat abilities as well and you're going to have a party with two extra people so do bear that in mind obviously science is going to be really useful if you're going for a firearm person who's also going to use potions and explosives lock picks obviously lets you go for a few extra locations you can't easily get into otherwise intuition really good at the start of the game because it actually lets you gather and loot more things and unlocks contextual dialogue options which is nice for the flavor of the game so i'm going to go for that i think to start off with obviously craftsmanship really good if you're playing a warrior type character because you can craft and upgrade your armor and weapons i'm not going to bother with that for a mage right now vigor lets you go through certain difficult passages that require balance and it also increases your ammo capacity and lets you recover hp and magic outside of combat so really really nice especially if you're going for an all-round sort of character i recommend that but we're going for intuition and if you guys do want to check you can just go along the skill line to the end and it actually tells you what happens once you unlock the last skill. So that gives you more of an idea of what, what you might want to spec your character into. So let's start the game. Just a few more minutes. You have such an incredibly singular face. That's a compliment, my lord, out of my mouth. <laughs> your Don't behead me. particularity gives you character. You're still here? We've nearly finished. Have you any more need of me, Master? You haven't forgotten that we're setting sail today, have you? Of course not. 
Your cousin is nowhere to be found. I've searched the palace from cellars to attics. Your uncle is beside himself. He was of a mind to paint the town last night. Don't worry, I shall track him down. Make care to your own preparations without wrinkling another frown. We'll meet you on the boat. It's about time your cousin took account of the responsibilities awaiting him. He should go and inform the ambassadors of Telemi and the Bridge Alliance of his departure. Have no fear, Master. I will go and see them in his name. I beg your pardon, but urgent matters call me away. Might we finish all this later? Impossible, my lord! You are leaving with the tide, if what I've been told is correct. I am sorry, sir. Truly, I must be going. My lord, please, I beg you! Her Highness has <laughs> personally requested I finish this! Thank you, cousin, for getting me out of that. Oh no, I had to have my picture painted. What a shame. Alright, let's go and have a look for our mother. As you do. She must be downstairs here. I mean, I already like the look of the game. It looks pretty impressive, doesn't it? Oh, another world to set my teeth into. Hey! Green blood! Cut. And so the day has finally come. My royal fledglings are leaving the nest. Accompanied by their most loyal and tenacious master of arms. As loyal as your goal. I'm enough with the cold mercenary. I know you like us. Hmm. Still hiding your men in the unsuspecting shadows of the greats of this world, I see. Hey, our blades are the only thing keeping you dainties alive. Ha! <laughs> Kurt! I'm not in need of your protection. I'm no longer a child, you know. Is that so? Well, let's see. Fight with honor! So this is the tutorial. Main attack. Obviously we're a mage. Look at the dash ability here. It's nutty. <laughs> Defend yourself against free attacks. Alright. Oh, he's got me there. Little dodge. Magic parry. Very cool, I know. Obviously, the magic parry is going to take up your mana. And absolutely decimate Kurt. Look how slow he is. He doesn't... Oh, God, he got me there. He does do a lot of damage, though, to be fair. You defend yourself well, Greenblood. One might think you had a proper master of arms. The best. Are you already training for your new post of Legate? Don't tire yourself. Flattery will get you nowhere. But for the fight, you have remembered your basics. Your performance just got you out of a final lesson. Unless you want to go through the paces again before we depart. I've quite the list of things to do before we depart. Indeed. Remember that you can always train in our barracks on the island if you're feeling rusty. Are your bags packed for the great departure? Yes. You know I get by with very little. You're not angry that I'm coming with you, I hope. Complain about being shadowed by a bodyguard. No, I'm happy, bro. On the contrary, I'm thrilled that both you and Sir de Corsillon are joining our party. A few friends at your side in unknown territory is a boon. Ah, so the old goat is coming too. And there I was thinking I would die of boredom on the trip. By the way, where is our future governor hiding? I was hoping to put his skills to the test as well. <sighs> I have no idea. He had plans to celebrate his departure last night, and we haven't seen him since. You know, Constantine, I should have gone with him, but my heart wasn't in the mood for celebration. The thought of bidding my mother farewell. It is never easy to say goodbye. But you should be going to see her now. She must be waiting for you. I'll meet you in front of the palace. Then we'll go and find Constantine together. Very well. I'll meet you as soon as I've said my goodbyes. I don't think Kurt ever had a mother, to be honest with you, but let's head off and find our mother. Hopefully she's over here. Ooh, what's this? Hello there, sir. What are you making? Oh, God, what our mum looks... Have you not been taught to knock? I've asked a thousand times. Oh, it's you, my dear child. Mother, I'm sorry. I'm having trouble getting used to your condition. Come now, let's speak of more pleasant things. I'm so very happy to hear your voice. You remind me so much of your father. I do miss him so. 
Today is the big day, isn't it? Ready to set sail for that island everyone's talking about. Yes, but the idea of leaving you behind, alone and ill... Dying, my child. Alas, there is nothing you can do by staying that would ease my suffering. One thing brings me cheer. They say the island is full of miracles, and we might find a cure. Even if I were to find it, I would never be able to return in time to- I know. But it brings me comfort that to know my son has left on a mission to heal his people. Come now. It is time for you to take leave. Here. Take this with you. What is it? A family heirloom. Something that... Take it and keep it with you. May it bring you good luck. All my blessings go with you, my child. Now, be off. Off you trot. God, she looks... I don't know what disease she has yet, but... Jesus Christ. Hope I can catch that on this island I'm heading to. I look so swag with that hat on, mate. You can rush fast by using A. I already knew that. Haha. -ha. One step ahead. Well, hello there, Kurt. Kurt. It's done. Sorry, Greenblood. Look, we can see the masts of the ship that'll be taking us. This is one sacred adventure we're embarking on. I hope this island will keep its promises. In order to know that, we'll need to find Constantine first. You're right. Maybe he's already at the port. He was so eager to leave. This will be quite the chore to finish before our departure. The commander wants to recover some merchandise from our supplier, but the transporter doesn't want to deliver. I did all I could to persuade. Nothing came of it. All the parliamenting fatigues me. But this is your domain. I wouldn't say no to a little help. Of course. Where is the supplier? In the lower boroughs, near the port. Right then. We'll put it on our list of visits. The bigger the hat, the cooler the character. Add Kurt to the team. I think I will, my friend. Relationship level is suspicious, apparently. Hmm. So Kurt is now a member of our party. We didn't need to add him, but why wouldn't we? Kurt is a badass. Where He's got a like two-handed sword. I've been asked to pay visits to the ambassadors of Teleme and the Bridge Alliance before our departure. Their dwellings are not far from here. We could go there first. Very well. You think Constantine What are you doing, mate? Eh? But it's certainly worthy of inspection. To my health! And to the oh! Oh! Be careful, sir! Drink a potion! Let's try out our hammer. Oh, I don't think so. Boom. Get wrecked. Oh my god, it knocks them off balance when they don't have any armor left. Boom. Right into the face. If you start as a mage, you also get a um, one-handed hammer ability, but you can swap to a sword, like I said, anytime you want. And we also have some stuff to loot. Some coins and a silver bracelet. Seems like this, this area is very unsafe, Kurt. So sure why we would venture in here. I'm way too important to this myself. An old Al Sad Saber. That's a massive upgrade from my current weapon. Should we try using a saber? Hmm. I do like the idea of using a saber. Let's swap it out and have a go. Oh my god, so 84 physical damage, 25 armor damage. This does 185 physical damage and 7 armor damage, obviously, because it's a sword. And it's also a rare quality item. Now, I actually think and I lack the required skill to use any of these items. Nice. So this is the map, and we're actually meant to go down here to the Bridge Alliance Embassy. Um, now, the map is actually pretty damn big, as I will show you guys as we go on to this game. It's kind of like um, Dragon Age Inquisition that they have... Oh, they have a another sword. Nice. Um, it's a bit like Dragon Age Inquisition that you have kind of like zones and areas to go into and each zone is kind of like of its own size. 
This seems to be the uh, the poor area of town. I can't talk to any of these people. But it seems like this plague, potentially the same one my mother has, is um, not going well for the local populace either. Look at them. Disgusting. Yeah, she has the same sort of skin disease that my mum had. So I assume we're all in this together, really. Maybe we can find a cure on the island. Who knows? Let's run into this store then. Hello there, alchemist. Your Excellency. Lord de Sade. I have been told that you were named Legate. Congratulations. Those are great responsibilities for someone as young as yourself. But you will bring honor upon your family and the congregation. Of that I'm certain. I thank you, Excellency. I've come here to inform you of our departure for Tierfredi. My cousin Constantine is about to take up office as governor of New Serene, and I'm accompanying him. I had no idea you would be leaving so quickly. What a shame. I had thought... Well, then, that is a pity. Have a pleasant voyage. A brilliant future awaits you. They say that it is a marvelous island. Please convey to your cousin my congratulations and sincere wishes for success. You seem slightly hesitant. Please, tell me what troubles you. A rather unscrupulous individual has been sowing trouble in Serene. A charlatan passing himself off as an alchemist. Do people actually give credence to these lies? Alas, yes. They snatch up his celebrated panacea. Remedies worse than the ill, believe me. As you can well imagine, alchemists are our pride. This vulgar trickster casts dirt upon their reputation and our own at the same time. In any city of the Bridge Alliance, we would have arrested him. But here, we respect your laws. I shall see what I can do, but make no promises. My departure is imminent. I thank you, Excellency. And I am pleased to see you have taken so well to your new functions of diplomacy. The man operates in the city center. He is said to be clever and mean. Be careful. Oh, he's not mean, is he? The worst kind of person. Not a mean person. You can ask him some extra information if you want, but we will find going. that out soon enough Goodbye. about Goodbye. the Bridge Alliance. Lord Dis so let's... Maybe we can see if we can help him out. I'm not sure. Wow, there's tea. Very, very fancy. I'm British. I like tea. It's a true stereotype, guys. I drink a lot of tea. So just to let you guys know, this is the skill tree I was telling you about earlier. There's lots of different abilities you can unlock, and... I can hover over them all and show you, but to be honest, the best thing to do is just see what's at the end of each skill tree, see what takes your interest the most, and then start to spec into those different things. So before we go to the embassy, let's try and go to the town square and help out this alchemist guy. I always like it when people are selling knockoff goods because I get to talk some sense into them by means of combat. This world environment, though, looks like it's pretty believable. I like the atmosphere. It seems like most of the city has kind of gone. Oh, one sec, I can speak. Sire, I'm sorry. I'm afraid that I won't make for good company. Wow, imagine being that posh that people just deny you a conversation because they won't make for good company. What's this? Poorly written notice. To my oh, hello there. Go on, deal with them for me. I will use my magical ability to beat the crap out of them. Oh god. Oh wow, I just got hit by... I got hit by, I think, a gun, because that really hurt. Let's drink a potion. Let's so you heal ourselves here. Drink a potion. Boom. Oh, get wrecked. This guy is the guy that shot me. Come here. There's no way I'm letting you reload that gun, mate. Oh, it's a lady. I feel so bad. She was a very good shot, though. That took off half my health. We should definitely try and take them out earlier next time, for sure. Ah, this is the man who's selling 
things to people. Citizens, I present to you Panacea, the absolute cure of heals all of that. And more still, this little file is the product of years of research and intensive labor. I hear you asking if this remedy can heal one from the Malachor. Alas, not yet. But your question is legitimate. I am so close to finding the cure. But the Malachor isn't the only ailment causing you to suffer. Not true? Then don't miss out on this chance and give yourself a healthy and energized life. Rejoice! A file only costs a few coins and well worth it to make your life shiny and new again. Does it really heal everything, your potion? Everything. Absolutely everything. Hmm. Except the Malachor, of course. That <laughs> being said, it is known that those in top health resist the Malachor best of all. Then don't throw away this chance. Think of all the pains that this potion could help you avoid. You are right. It's a deal. I'm gonna take two. There's a man that knows a good deal when he sees one. Hurry now. There won't be enough for everyone. There what a good salesman. I need some of this down. material His so I can is be well young polished. again. I even feel like buying some. Exactly. Ah, we should all buy some. Finally tempted. In all honesty, I haven't made up my mind yet. I want to be certain that I'm not dealing with a charlatan. In this day and age, I can't blame you. What might I do to convince you? Ask about nasty side effects. Ask for a demonstration. Hmm. Yeah, give me a demonstration. That's the best kind of thing. Will you drink one of your potions to prove your good faith? Of course. I take a little sip every morning. But as I'm in perfect health, you won't be able to verify the improvement in my condition. It's but poison. If it helps you make up your mind, give me just a moment. There now. As you see, I am still in excellent condition. Come on now, I saw you take that vial out of your pocket. Nothing proves that it's the same potion that you sell to your clients. As a man of science, I consider skepticism a remarkable quality. But in your case, it is not skepticism, but blindness. We need to steal one of these potions and force him to drink it. Brilliant idea, Kurt. Let's take a look at his cart. <laughs> we can do that? <laughs> oh boy, okay. Alright, let's go and find his cart then. I guess there's carts down the back alleyway. Can I go through here? Yes, I can. Easy. I bet I get attacked. Alchemist research book. Okay, so he has got someone's research book here that tells us maybe he was trying to do something correctly, but we don't know. We've got his antidote too, and there's to another... Oh, God. And death to the others! Oh, Jesus. Get out of here, mate. Oh! Boom. Get wrecked. <laughs> oh, man. I love the combat in this game. It's so good. Can't wait until I really get used to it. Old soft boots. I'm just going to pick up everything. We can sell it later anyway. Bandit's hat. Yep, not not um, suspicious at all that we were attacked by bandits after coming down this alleyway. There's actually a secret chest here. Look at that. I'll take all of this. Maybe I can dress up as a bandit and become one of them. And they will leave me alone, hopefully. Right, so this was the, the letter from the innkeeper to the servant. The weird alchemist of the Alliance who rented a room upstairs specifically asked us not to clean it during his stay. This old fool must not want us to actually break his vials or something. So, leave him in his filth. The customer is always right. Well, we know for a fact that that means he is suspicious. So he must be a liar. I'm just going to go flat out and assume he's, he's lying. And he definitely has something to hide. Here he is. Have you finally made up your mind? 
Yes, um, show him the remedy he's selling. I happen to have a vial of your medicine. Would you be willing to drink it in front of us? To prove that there is no risk. This bullying is trying my patience. I'm beginning to suspect that you might be working for a rival. You refuse to taste it. You might have put something in it to cause me harm or further disgrace. No, look. The vial is still sealed. It comes straight from your stock. And you dare challenge me when you have just admitted to being a thief. Come hmm. now. You can see for yourself that I'm gladly returning your vial so that you might drink it in front of witnesses. This might help to dissipate my doubts, as well as those of these brave folk. Yes, no, I... You don't have the right! Damnation. He got away. He can't have gone what? far. Where'd he go? Find him before his head ends up on a spike. How did that old man... The note that we found. We need to take a look at the tavern. He won't yeah. leave the city without his belongings. Exactly. Yeah, I knew that. Let's go to the tavern. It's lucky I have a silver tongue. I'm literally a machine. When it comes to arguing, this guy looks very dead. Not gonna lie. Okay, so this is the tavern, I guess. How did, how on earth did he run past us and get in here without us noticing? Let's just go and speak straight to the innkeeper. Oh, some gold coins. I'll take that. That was clearly his, but I just stole it from him. So we can't actually ask him about um, the guy staying upstairs, but I can only assume. I assume this is the way upstairs. Yep, there we are. Well, hello there, alchemist. <laughs> you again? What are you doing in my room? I'm not the only one that has found you. Have you seen the mob that is gathering in the street? I'm neither deaf nor blind. <sighs> By the spheres. Why didn't I leave the city while there was still time? The Alliance Ambassador is quite unsettled by your commerce, and he is the one who sent me. Sahin! Him again. Ruining my career wasn't enough for him. He's the very reason I had to leave the Alliance. And here I am, playing the part of the Potion Maker. Me, who was once a respected member of the Academy of al -Sad. What's with his obsession, then? Why does Sahin bear you such hatred? I was unfortunate enough to oppose certain great minds of the Academy. To criticize their methodology. I saw them inflicting torture on sick prisoners. Making them drink the most vile poisons. To find a remedy to the Malachor, they won't hesitate to kill. I could not keep my silence. It is for an act of courage that you fell from grace and earned Sahin's hatred. Hmm. So, what about your career as a professor? Dr. Sahin warned me that you were an imposter. <laughs> that doesn't surprise me, coming from him. I was a master alchemist. I understand if you don't believe me after all that, but I have a number of documents to prove it. I would still be one if Sahin hadn't set off a chain of machinations to disgrace me. He sounds like he's telling the truth, to be honest, but let's ask him about the potions. Are you not ashamed to have poisoned those poor souls? These potions are not harmful. That is to say that they don't contain any harmful ingredients. But you could just as easily produce real healing potions. So why don't you? You don't understand. I fled. But I haven't put a stop to my own research. This potion is an attempt to create in those who drink it a resistance to the Malachor. So you manipulate people to use this experimental fodder. That is completely unethical. I don't have a choice. But it does not harm them, I assure you. If this potion were inoffensive, then why wouldn't you drink it when I offered it to you? I ran tests on myself for such a long time that I ended up becoming intolerant to it. A small sip of this mixture provokes in me now a violent reaction. I mean, the mob would have been furious in any case, but a normal dose, I assure you, is without risk. Your methods don't seem so different than those of your colleagues. I don't torture people. And this potion only has side effects in high doses. Perhaps, but you're hurting innocents. I cannot let your commerce continue. So, what are you going to do with me, sir? Arrest him, help him leave the city. Let's just help him leave the city. I mean, clearly, he's got his heart in the right place. And maybe we can see him in the future and he can sell us some dank potions. I'm going to help you leave the city. But you must promise never to return. I swear it. Very well, then. I need to first get you away from those who want to see you hanged. 
If we can't find a way to sneak out of here discreetly, we will have to confront the populace. I haven't lost hope that I'll be able to help them hear reason. It would be better if I remain hidden while waiting. Yes, well, good, good shout, mate. Give me some free stuff. I saved your life. How can I discreetly leave this place then? Through the window, perhaps? Ah, some keys. Oh, Jesus Christ, that was accidental. Innkeeper storeroom key. Okay, nice. What's in here? Another chest that I can just steal. Oh, I need to lockpick it. Damn it. Oh, my, my lockpicking skills are terrible anyway, so. We clearly just need a follower to do that for us. Alright, let's go outside and just uh, talk to the people. Angry citizen. Please listen, I beg you. If you wanted to reimburse you, get in the back of the line like everyone else. Believe me, I understand why you're angry. Me? It's not money I want. That charlatan tried to poison us. I couldn't give a flying pile of dung for your pretty words. We're gonna hang him high. And you too, if you're an accomplice. How absurd. I'm the one who put an end to his operation. Well, in that case, help us catch him so he can be punished like he deserves. He's trapped. He'll have to come out someday. You'll see. <laughs> 10 out of 10 intelligence. Intuition. Speak of a horrible side effect. Yeah, why not? That'll be fun. <laughs> That'll help the situation. And so you plan on waiting here? <laughs> I do not advise that. All of you drank one of those potions, am I right? You're right, we did. Tasted of death. I did nothing for me, Elsa. As for me, I only drank a few drops. And my tooth is aching more than ever. Alas, you need only drink a mere drop for it to provoke paralysis. Pa paralysis oh, A terrible side effect. The symptoms appear sooner or later. No one is spared from them. What? Are we doomed then? Everyone. Except, of course, those going to see a doctor to receive the antidote. What are we going to do? The doctor costs a fortune. We're all going to end up like statues. Listen nice. to me, everyone. I know a good doctor that will help us. Come on, follow me. That charlatan will just have to wait to get what's coming to him. The alchemist Nailed is it, now far guys. from danger, at least. Go and tell him the good news. I told him to get. I told Kurt to go and tell him, but then I end up having to tell him myself. Good damn. I'm way too important to do this myself, Kurt. Ah, oh, is this the storage room? Or is this is the cooking room. Nice. The servant's door. The lock's double bolted. Oh, and I, I have, the, have key. the key. Oh, I do have the key. I picked it up, didn't I? Ah, oh, I have the key to the storage room, though. Nice. Oh, Jesus. Accidentally kicked off there. So we can rob the innkeeper. Fantastic. Two gold coins, innkeeper key, metal dows, crude the key iron ore. And now we can actually provide a secret exit as well. So there you go. I, I showed you guys how to do both. Easy. Let's go and find the alchemist. We need to get him out of here as fast as we can. Kind of bad for just robbing everyone. But, I mean, there's no negative implication of it, so hey-ho. So, did you find a way to get me out of this hornet's nest? I persuaded the mob to disperse calmly and without a fight. The way is free. Very well. What power of persuasion? They didn't seem of a mind to hear reason from me. You are free. Climb into your carriage and leave Serene immediately. Let me deal with Dr. Sahin. I owe you my life, sir. I will be eternally in your debt. That's right. I remind you to never step foot here again. I have no desire to return anyway. <sighs> Farewell. Nice. I own him now. He is mine. All right, we can go directly back to the Bridge Alliance Embassy. Nice. Let's do that. Here he is. Your Excellency. Lord de Sade. I tracked down your man near the coin guard barracks. Finally. Did you capture him? Let's just say I put an end to his activities. His reputation in Serene is forever tarnished. Matters turned out a little more complicated than anticipated. Cover the escape of the alchemist, confront him on his lie. Yeah, let's confront him. Why should I deliver him to you? 
You deliberately hid the truth about him from me. What? Might I remind you that you're in audience with the Ambassador of the Bridge Alliance? And you to a legate of the Congregation of Merchants, that you treat like an imbecile. This man is indeed an alchemist at the bridge, and he told me much about your disagreement of opinion. And of course you sided with him. Certainly not. I have no part to play in your quarrels, I just chased him from our city. Now, if you're still intent on placing him in irons, you need to capture him on your own lands. How embarrassing. I should have shown more honesty in your regard. Please accept my excuses. And this modest gift for the voyage that awaits you. I need to be going. Goodbye, Excellency. Goodbye, Lord de Sade. Easy, we leveled up by doing that simple quest. Minus two reputation with them, but do I care? No, I don't. Because I don't care about having reputations with anyone. Alright, let's head over now to um, the next quest. Pretty quickly, because this boat's going to be leaving soon. Here we are. Well, hello there, Ambassador. Good day, Excellency. Sir de Sade, to what do I owe the pleasure? I have come to inform you that my cousin Constantine and I are departing for Tirfredi on the hour. Ah, yes. I did indeed hear talk that you had both received callings of greater stature. Allow me to congratulate you. Were you not named Legate of the Congregation? You are correct, Excellency. I thank you. It is a station of great honor that I am sure you will fill with brio and panache. The Mother Cardinal Cornelia will be enchanted to work with you, and your cousin in the future. I only regret that your departure is so sudden. Really? <laughs> to be really? entirely honest with you, I was hoping to solicit your help in a rather delicate matter. Oh, of course. Tell me more about it. And perhaps I can take care of your problem before my departure. Very well. A small group of dangerous heretics has found refuge in Serene. We know that your uncle tolerates the presence of all pagans within the city walls. But these particular non-believers threaten the fragile harmony of this place. We would consider it a tremendous favor if you would arrest them and deliver them to our guard. Heresy is not a crime in Serene. You do know that. But I'm sure my uncle would hear your arguments. Why call on my intervention? The Prince would indeed give us his blessing, but it would take time. Far too much time. For according to our sources, these fugitives have already made contact with a smuggler to take them who knows where. I see. You're hoping that I'll be able to do something before they make it to an enemy city. If your heretics are planning on boarding a ship, then they must be in the dockyards. I'll look into this and right I then. must be going. Farewell, Excellency. May the light guide you, Dasade. So obviously this religious man with symbols of chaos above his desk doesn't like heretics for some reason. Very strange indeed. He's got a statue of Gandalf. Interesting. Oh, there's a chain here. Okay, let's head outside then and get rid of the heretics. Personally, I absolutely love heresy, so I think heresy should be allowed everywhere, like it is in the city. Um, it's interesting that he wants us to arrest him, and I feel like everyone in this bloody place is taking advantage of me, to be honest with you. Ah, it's another secret chest. Nice. We should really uh, put on some of this equipment we've got, so get out of my way, you silly man. Right, so we can upgrade our shadow missile attacks, and I'm going to do that next. Oh, look at that. That looks insanely cool. I love that. Plus 25% loot chance. That's insanely good. It's obviously got to be this. I mean, look at me. I look amazing. God damn. I also have a range of different hats. Look at that. Let's go for the intuition. Right now, I think intuition could be quite that. Oh my god, I look amazing. I'm so happy. I am so happy. Wowie. Aha, this is the vendor we can talk to, though. Good day, good sir. How might I be of service? Jesus Christ. You can start by face. explaining to me why you refuse to honor the orders agreed upon with the guard. <laughs> There's been a misunderstanding, sir. Of course we're ready to honor the orders. In fact, I've already had a word with your 
master at arms. They're asking that we pay again, despite having already paid. It's just that the price has gone up since. I've nothing to do with it. This is inadmissible. If you agree on a sum, you need to honor that agreement. I'm sorry, sir. I'm just an agent. And I'm only obeying Alden. Ask for more instructions. Your master has apparently asked you to demand a second payment for this merchandise. That's right. He told me that their attendant seemed to be hiding something when he passed the order. And so he must have thought the guard would end up paying in the end whatever he asked for. I'll be damned. And I'm the one they've sent to settle the affair. Sorry, Captain. It's nothing personal. I'm only following orders. Following orders. Yeah, we hear you. Makes one wonder which one of the two of us is a coin guard. This whole story sounds suspicious and stinks of a scandal. You're demanding a second payment but refuse to reimburse the one that was already made. I'm not the one demanding nor refusing. It's my master. This stubborn fool is pushing me to madness. You understand now why I'm asking for your help? So I have a 50% chance of using Charisma, which is interesting. Uh, that Charisma is obviously a percentage-based stat. However, I have Intuition, which I can use to offer a bribe. I'm going to go with the 50-50 chance, and I'm feeling... Or do I just threaten him? Because that's always fun. Let's use Charisma. I don't think you understand who you're dealing with. Perhaps I've failed to present myself properly. Lord de Sade, well, he can't nephew see, of so. the Prince d'Orsay and legate of the Congregation of Merchants. During our conversation, you explained to me that your master forced you to commit a crime. That's regrettable. Especially as you will be considered his accomplice in extortion, theft. You know as well as I that the Congregation does not tolerate such illegal activities. But I'm only obeying orders. That is a shame. Well, as orders are the only language you seem to understand, I order you to return the guard the merchandise, without delay. Unless you'd rather your master is hung and that you finish your days in prison. I... Ah. As you request, my lord. Success. I shall go immediately and ask that these crates be delivered to the attendant. Now that's a wise decision. Thank you. I was beginning to think this would never end. You just need a feather You're in your hat. That's certainly honouring your, your new title. With this. Bravo! The quartermaster must be expecting us. Can I? Don't um, you worry now. You'll get your merch. I want to sell stuff though. I've got I've got tons of stuff that I'm just collecting for no reason. Oh my god! Is that a dead body? Nice. Old rusty rapier. Rapier. Very nice. So this is the barracks here. Apparently there's something behind the barracks as well, according to that note I read previously. Let's just go right in, I guess. Here's the man himself. Sir Desade, I presume. It is an honor to make your acquaintance. Captain, you set sail soon. Have you seen to our little business? Yes, we were finally able to recover your merchandise. Excellent news. I'm afraid, though, that your mission isn't completely finished, Kurt. Blast me, I'm a captain, not an errand boy. The commander was quite explicit. Very well. What do I need to do? The merchandise that you obtained needs to be sent to Tier 3D as soon as possible. But the Port Authority formalities for shipping take an eternity to wade through. And we've already lost quite a bit of time with this dishonest merchant. Are you blatantly asking us to smuggle this merchandise and contraband? I would never ask you to do such a thing, Your Excellency. Ah, but you don't mind asking that of Kurt? Well, now, uh, if he finds an alternative solution that is less uh, illegal, uh, that would be fine. The method matters not. But this cargo must reach the Isle on the next ship. Marvellous. Well, then, I await your return with utmost impatience. I'm certain you shall do what's required. Okay, so why why am I doing this? You want me to send some illegal cargo over, mate? I can I can sort you out there. Let me just rob your barracks first. We have a lot of weapons here, very nice. Is there anything I can loot though? Oh, this is the backside of the barracks. It seems this man has died, or he's asleep. So I'm going to take this letter. Oh, so apparently this lady's died, and they have a bookstore, and there's a chest hidden in their house, which I guess we could go and find if I wanted to. Um, that's very interesting. You know, you get, like, these little lore 
notices by reading this information. Alright, so we just head over to the docks. We should be able to um, find a smuggler and talk to the captain at the same time. Here he is. Hello there. Lively there, lads and lasses! I promised the merchants and their prince we'd be off before the tide. This guy's gone full on with his tribal you tattoos. You man, carry that properly. That porcelain is worth more than your life. <laughs> there are some children we'd be best to refuse. Captain Vasco. And you are? I'm de Sardé, the prince's nephew. If all is in order, we will soon be embarking on your boat. It's a ship. Not a boat. Apologies. Apologies for my asking, but the young governor isn't with you. He didn't come home this morning. I need to find him before departure. I hope nothing's happened to him or he hasn't changed his mind. The tide does not wait. <laughs> Perhaps he simply celebrated his imminent departure with a little too much enthusiasm. Is everything ready? We're short a crew member. The cabin boy is missing. But have no fear, we will leave without him if he does not present himself before the tide. Is he an important member of the crew? We don't need him for sailing or navigation. He's only a cabin boy. He must have simply had a bit too much to drink in celebrating his departure. Like another I know. I doubt that. Jonas was never one to fancy drink. And it's been two days since last he was seen. No, I fear something bad has happened to him. Might I ask you, if you hear anything, could you report it to me? I would like to set sail with a clear mind. Oh, Willie, we've got to go find this kid. I feel bad now. Why do I have to help everyone before we can leave? Let's ask the barkeeper. Well, hello there. Tavern keeper. I see you're back. Can I pour you something this time? Always. I'm looking for my cousin. His name is Constantine. I believe he was intent on celebrating his departure last night. There was indeed a party here last night, but it ended badly. Whatever do you mean? A brawl broke out. My tavern was shattered. And no one's paid for the damages. Oh, I'm great. sorry. Amongst the rebel rousers, did there happen to be a young man? 20 years of age. Hair down to his neck. Light brown. Blue eyes. Quite the talker. I don't believe it. Of course he was there. He's the man that started the fight. I <laughs> hope you've come to reimburse me. Don't count on me to help you if that's not the case. <sighs> what kind of damage are we talking about exactly? A good half of my furniture was broken into firewood. I piled up the lot over there. Let me take a look. Perhaps it can be repaired. If you can fix it, I'll be obliged. If not, you'll need to pay. Well, I don't have the crafting. I'm not going to pay you any gold. <sighs> That's not a small sum. I need to think about my options. Oh, the father has forgotten to give his son his allowance, it would seem. You shut up. You've definitely got anything I now. I need to be off. Goodbye. See you later, mate. See you later. I will solve this myself. The furniture is in terrible condition. The fight must have been extremely violent. How do they it throw a table at him? I've seen worse. We'll need to build some metal dowels, but once done, we can make them like new. Nah, I don't like this tavern keeper. Oh, one sec, there's a crafting table right here. Maybe we should do that. So we can craft metal dowels. Let's craft six of those, because we have the materials. Uh, ten out of four. Okay, great. I think we have enough stuff now. We can just repair his uh, table. Nice. Oh, we need to... There you have it. You'd never guess they were once broken. Nice. Fixed. Now you can help me out. Well, then... Were you able to repair it all? Yes, just like new. Or nearly. That does indeed look like fine work. You know what you're doing. I would hope. Can you tell me where I can find my cousin now? <laughs> Your cousin is either a very bad joker or a right good fool. He went and insulted a band of ruffians from the lower boroughs. Dangerous fellows. They have a storehouse they operate out of a few streets from here. What kind of business do they run? Several, actually, and they're all illegal and profitable. But you didn't hear that from me. In any case, if you were set on recovering your cousin, I would hurry if I were you. They're not the tender sorts. Thank you for the information. 
Right. Off with ya. Get him out of whatever mess he's got himself into. Seemed like a courageous fellow. Who could down his pint? Anything else? I need to be off. Farewell. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye to you too, mate. Alright, let's go and find where he is. Apparently, he's over here. Nice. Let's head down. Alright, so we need to head down to the old warehouse where apparently our cousin is being kept. Hopefully, we can free him there. If you had any idea who I am, open up, imbeciles! I have a ship to catch! That vulture of a tavern master was right. It is Constantine's voice. It's coming from the floor above. It sounds as if he's locked up. And I have a feeling they're expecting company. Be careful. Boy. The slightest itchy word to these brutes will have them drawing blades to scratch it. Negotiation may be the solution. As you say, this breed of brutes won't spit on ransom money. What a waste. I'd rather sneak around them than give half a coin to these seedy fellows. I'd rather kill them, to be honest. Sneaky time. Let's try it. Let's try that sneaky. We've not really tried it out yet, so. Obviously, we're going to be going for the extreme entrance because that's the best kind of entrance. Enemy detection. Ah. Oh, better sneak. Better sneak. It's obvious that he's a noble, a rich man. He needed to be taught a lesson, but it's better. Can we stealth attack this guy? With all those posters we posted, Hello there. someone with deep pockets I'm will behind show you. up sooner or later to liberate them. Hello there. Oh, there's a guy over there it's too. A great deal of... I guess we can climb up here, to be honest. That also works. You're looking the other direction. Nice. Okay. This is going rather well. I really want to attack these guys anyway. Jesus, Kurt, I didn't know that was you. You spooked me there. Kind of looks like I need to have a poo right now, to be honest. Ah, I think he's downstairs, isn't he? Nice. What is down there? Because that's the door we could have broken for on the other side. Quickly, come downstairs. Ah, what's in here? Lots of stuff. Love it. So this is somewhere we could have come... What's that? Pick up? There's some keys there. I just picked up some keys. Nice. So this could be our secret exit. Love it. My god, I'm hobbling up this uh, ladder here. Right, let's go back into sneak mode and come around here. Aha, some more things to steal. I'm going to use the key. Nice. Wow, there's a lot of gold in there. A ruby. Very nice. Don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I do at all. What else is in here? There's like nothing else in this room, is there? Really? Maybe we have to go upstairs then. here. I carry on sneaking because obviously I need the toilet so I need to role play that. Hello there. There's just tons of useful items in here. What's that on the floor there? Those keys? Pick up. Key to Constantine's cell. Okay yeah, we needed that. That's good. This has been monumentous, gentlemen, but I have more important things to attend to. An island to govern, treaties to sign, riches to expedite, and a demanding father to impress! Constantine, it's me! My dear cousin! Oh, my lucky star! Always there to pull me out of my fight. Well, I do what I can. We're departing soon. Fish your father wasn't pleased by your absence this morning. Have you ever seen him happy about anything when it comes to me? You know what he thinks of me. He cares about you. I know that. He appointed you governor, didn't he? He is ridding himself of a source of constant disappointment. 
Enough said. Today we set sail for adventure. Stop being so loud, bro. Yeah, let's go and kill them all. All right, you ready, guys? Here we go. Oh god! Oh god! Please. Boom. Take that and that and that and that. Get licked. Coming to help you, don't worry, guys. Boom. Oh, yes, look at that. Beautiful, guys. Beautiful work. I do love killing some mercenaries. Oh, another key to Constantine's cell. Lovely. I just kind of wanted to try out the stealth game there. I mean, it seems pretty damn simple, to be honest with you. So, um, it wasn't really difficult to sneak in, to say the least. Descend. Nice. Alright, then now we can head back to the ship with our brother. And we've already rescued the captain's boy from the other man. But I just cut that quest out of the video because, to be honest with you, I didn't think it was that interesting. Um, and I wanted to kind of get on with the combat of the story because the combat's like such an awesome part of this game. I am kind of thinking, should I turn up the difficulty? Because it's quite easy right now. But I guess as we uh, fight the boss monsters later in the game, it will be a lot e uh, harder. Okay, let's run over to our boy. Now, there's one other thing we can do uh, before we set sail, which is to check out the smuggler area. So I'm going to go and do that, actually. But apparently in here, we can get a key to find the smuggler. I really want to do because oh oh there's a man right there is he looking at me no we're good oh god oh god he's gonna see me if I go that way let's hide over here okay okay she oh boy okay we're good someone's like standing behind a wall it seems to be it how how can you not see them Nice. Okay, we need to wait until she like turns around again. I guess um, my teammates can't be seen. She's going into the other room so we can go upstairs. Because, I mean, obviously she was staring right at them. And oh! Oh! Oh god! How does she not spot me? Jesus Christ. That was close. Let's try and get in this room here. There's a bit of like FPS drop. I don't know if it's the FO. Uh, it's the. Um, one sec. I think I might know what that is. Everything's on ultra. It should be fine. Let's disable VSync because I don't know why. It's like. That's locked. We cannot unlock that. There's quite a few lock chests in this game, so it may be worth getting the lock picking skill. These are the keys we need, but we don't know where the cell is. Nice. That's good. This is my chance to escape. Here we go. Very nice. So now we just need to find the prison cells. Wherever they might be. Okay, so apparently the prison cells are in this next block. From the looks of the map at least. Oh, can I climb over here? Nice. Fantastic. Some more stuff to steal. Okay, let's go in here. Okay, this is escapes. the prison. Are you the smuggler? You snuck yourself in here just to ask me that question. <laughs> if this is some sort of trick to get me to admit to some crime, you are truly twisted. You can see for yourself that I'm no Nord. Come now. Are you the one I'm looking for? I'm already locked up. What more do I risk? Yes, I am a smuggler. But I'm not the only one in this city. I'm searching for a couple fleeing to Leme. They're trying to leave the city discreetly. Have they contacted you? You certainly can't imagine I'm going to answer you without getting something in exchange. I don't really think of my clients as kin, but I'd never betray any of them for free. A real saint you are. How about your freedom in exchange for your loyalty? <laughs> Tell me where I can find them and I'll open this cage. That works for me. Your two telemites are hidden in a warehouse behind this very prison. Nice. They must be waiting for me. But you might want to be quick about it. 
If the Noughts get their hands on them, they'll find themselves in this same cage. Thank you. Any time. And these doors? You're gonna open them, right? Well, you'd hope so, wouldn't you? Come on now. Let me out. You promised. I will use Please. the key. There Thank you go. Thank you, my lord. Don't worry about me. I'll slip outside without being seen. I hope I don't have to worry about you because that would be a nightmare to try and sneak you out here too. We don't want to go that way, we want to jump out the back here, I think. So the heretic's hideout is actually at the back of this place, so let's go over there next. Oh, am I allowed? Oh, Jesus. Halt! The warehouse is off limits. Move along. Intuition. Did you hear the bell? The bell? Of the port authorities? Of course. We're not in Teleme, you know. You better get going. The harbour master is ringing it. All the noughts must rendezvous at the port authority immediately. Must be something serious. Damn, we didn't hear either. We're done for. Come on, we need to move fast. Be off with you. I'll watch over the warehouse in your absence. All right, now we can go in. Nice, can't believe that worked. My intuition is incredible. Right, where are these uh, heretics? Wherever they're meant to be. I want to join their wrongdoings. I guess they're upstairs then. Hello there. Heretics. Aha. Heretics, I guess. Damnation. We've been found. I told you that the smuggler was not worthy of our trust. The man to which you are referring was arrested and thrown into prison, but revealed to me your hiding place. Oh. The traitor! Have you come to deliver us to the Inquisition then? Please, please, have pity on our souls. We have committed no crime. We are not heretics. We are nothing more than historians. In that case, why is the Ambassador of Teleme so concerned about your teachings? Why is the Inquisition looking for you and why are you hiding? Why, why, why? Our only error was wanting to publish our work. It's true. We presented our research, but it didn't please the censor. And... Here you have the result. We fled all the way to Serene, thinking we would be safe. But the Inquisition wants to silence us so badly that they followed us here. Ask about what the research is. Tell me more about your research. What about it is so horrifying that it would provoke such a fuss? Our work concerned the teachings of St. Lucius. The disciple of St. Matthias. The one who returned to Teleme after travelling with his master. Of course. The very same. His writing was carefully preserved, but never seriously studied. With the discovery of Tirfredi, we thought it crucial to take a look at the original text. We wanted to verify if this island could have been the faraway place that he spoke of. The Eden of St. Matthias. And? What did you find? Too much. Tirfredi is without any doubt the land that our St. Matthias and his disciples went to. But the text that we discovered was radically different from what we expected to find. In the original text, St. Lucius doesn't speak of an Eden, of the paradise of the illuminated. He speaks of a voice that came from the depths of the earth, which convinced St. Matthias to stay there. It was written in black and white, and there is no doubt about it. The original was written in Lucius's own hand. I understand now what that text has cost you. This voice from the depth sounds more the power of a demon than a saint. The sacred texts are always difficult to interpret, but what is written is written. That is very interesting. <laughs> so they've been worshipping a god of the hell or something. That's crazy. What's the escape plan? Who were you hoping would give you asylum? We were hoping to reach Al Saad. The Inquisition won't chase us into the den of their enemies. Our research won't interest the Bridge Alliance, or at least I doubt it. But at least we'll be safe. By entering Al Saad as clandestines, you risk being taken for spies. That would be better than being burned at the stake. Did you try speaking with the censors? You could. Forget what you have discovered, perhaps. Oh, we have signed already an abjugation stating that we misunderstood the sacred texts of St. Lucius. 
we were even ready to say that we had never seen the true text, or anything else that would have pleased them. It served no purpose. It's our lives they are after. I see. Well, you have no other choice but to run and seek refuge in enemy territories. I beg of you, please do not deliver us to them. Let us continue on this path. Oh yeah, this sounds super interesting. I'm gonna let them be on their way. Uh, yeah, you never saw me here. It doesn't sit well with me to send you to the flames. I freed your smuggler, and he'll certainly be in touch. He, or another member of his band. Be careful, and safe travels. Oh, thank you, my lord. You are a man of noble heart. May the Illuminated protect you. Thank you for having heard us and helped. You are truly full of kindness. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. You I'm have very a kind, kind heart, indeed. Greenblood. It'll be the end of you, but that doesn't bother me. I wouldn't have wanted those poor buggers to end up on a burning pyre. Exactly. It would seem that I'm not the only one with a tender heart. So we can go directly back to the embassy now. I kind of love that it just skips you back here like fast travel. It makes so much sense to do that. Good day, Excellency. Sir de Sade, to what do I owe the pleasure? Report the escape of the heretics. It pains me to inform you that the heretics you seek have fled. Curse them! How could that possibly have happened? Haha, <laughs> just lie. Alas. These renegades have found protection with the ambassador of the Bridge Alliance. I would not have been able to capture them without risking a diplomatic incident that my uncle would have condemned. The Bridge. I thought as much. Those heretics have turned to them. But I had hoped that you might intervene quickly enough to stop them. It is truly regrettable. Pissed. We have nothing else to do but pray that the Luminous might shield us from their lies. So we got plus one reputation with the lame. And we're now level three. And I can't ask anything about, you know, the information we found. Farewell, Excellency. May the light guide you, Dasade. It could have been more interesting. I mean, look at how chaotic their symbolism looks anyway it could have been interesting to like piss off the bible bashers though i mean it always is isn't it okay let's let's hurry along then to the port so we can finally leave this all right guys we've done every single quest aside from finding consultine's clothes which i think is bugs because i did find them i just can't give them to him so i don't really understand that but um, let's carry on with the main quest line and finally leave this town. Sir, are you ready? Can we weigh anchor? We should be able to set sail with the tide, as agreed upon. Very nice. Permission to board the ship. We are ready. Certainly. But keep in mind that we'll be at sea for several months. If you have any farewells to make or any final business to put into order, now is the time. So this is pretty much the end of the prologue now, guys. No, my house is in order. We are ready to embark. Perfect. Follow me. I am so eager to discover Tia Fridi. My isle. My new city. You'll need to arm yourself with patience. The voyage will be long. I've been told the trip lasts months. And they say the place is full of gigantic creatures. As big as buildings. That's right. Can't wait for I that. The oh, a chest. One back in one of their ships. I doubt that. The Norths are strange, but they're not idiots. Don't mind if I do. The beast is awoken! Those conniving, piss-distilling, bridge-building liars. The creature was supposed to be out for days. They'll pay for this. What the what? hell manner of cargo are you transporting? Help! We need ropes! We must contain it! Help! Come now. Let's send them a hat. Oh boy! Oh crap, this is what I wanted. An actual big monster to fight like a zombie trailer. Oh, man. Cut! 
Captain! Keep my cousin safe! What about you? Don't worry, I've got this coin to battle it with. I thought it was dead already. Oh, God. That's not a good start. What? He didn't even hit me, did it? Jesus Christ. Oh, God. Right, let's quickly use a um, potion here. Health potion. Oh my god. My dodging skills are not very good. Jesus Christ. I'm just going to range this thing. Luckily this boss is pretty damn easy. So I can actually stun it there. Oh! And we're good. I'm going to wait into my magic region. Actually, do you know what? Do I have any potions? I do have a magical potion. Oh god, hello. Oh! Oh my god. That was not very nice. Oh. Yeah. Hello there. Oh! Okay, just managed to dodge that. That was good. Okay, good, good. I have to get rid of its armor, which is taking a good while. So I think we actually are better off sticking with magical attacks here. Oh, yeah. Getting used to the dodge. Oh, Bloody hell though, if you don't move out of the way of that attack, it does literally screw you over. Okay, oh! Okay. Do I have a choice? Oh, he just wrecked it. <laughs> Got wrecked, mate. Christ. Greenblood, how do you fare? Fine, fine. It is dead. Are you wounded? I'm well. Your lessons have proven effective. I've never he seen a beast this size. It's quite extraordinary. Cousin, what a fight. You were illustrious. I'm not of the same mind. I had the feeling it was already weakened. I did nothing more than finish it off. Your humility remains a constant. But believe me, that battle was absolutely epic. Probably should have recognised the giant boss arena that this area is. <laughs> Look at that. It's awesomely cool. This is one of the big creatures we saw in the trailer and it looks insane. Very impressed. Can't wait to battle one that I've seen in the gameplay trailers because they seem to have a bigger moveset. I mean, obviously that was just the tutorial battle, I guess, at the end of the prologue, so... Uh, hopefully we're not still taking the ship because it's kind of, like, screwed now, isn't it? Maybe we can use the other one. The captain has some explaining to do with the way. I mean, he was carrying a giant, colossal ent on his ship. Gentlemen! <laughs> Your cousin's enthusiasm is most impressive. And this journey is his long-awaited chance to prove his worth. He has a demanding father. More likely, he's just happy to be free of this hornet's nest. I definitely know I am. That's certain. No one's going to explain why he had that thing on the ship. 
Stations, lads. Well cut and ready hard to wear. Lively now, lively. Catch me a win. So guys, that is the end of the prologue. I hope you enjoyed this episode, but we finally get to do some actual free roam exploring next episode. So tune in for that. It's linked down below in the description and you can subscribe and press the bell icon to know as soon as it comes out. But thanks so much for watching, guys. If you enjoy this, please give the video a like as well. That really helps me out with the channel. But um, thank you for watching me, ESO, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.